السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أعزائي طلاب الصف الأول Hello dear students of grade 1 How are you today? I hope you are all well and healthy and welcome to a new lesson from module 9 We have two lessons Phonics and our world So let's start with phonics Please open your books, the student book, to page number 131. And in this lesson, we will be able to read words ending in op. Op. في هذا الدرس أعزائنا الطلاب سوف نتعلم قراءة كلمات تنتهي ب op. Up. So let's do that. First of all, let's start with this picture and ask some questions about it. Look here. This is this is called a mop. Mop. Where is the mop? Where is the mop? It is on top. It is on the top. Okay, how to get them up? The boy has to hop. Hop. So, mop on top and the boy hop. Alright, so let's now say and circle the up words. As you can see here, we have a text. لدينا هنا نص فيه كلمات تنتهي ب up. Up. Look here. Up. So what you have to do is to circle each word that ends in up. All right. So let's now listen and do the activity. Module 9. Phonics. 1. Listen, say, and circle the op words. The mop. Hop, hop, hop. Look at the mop. It is on the top. The mop. Hop, hop, hop. Look at the mop. It is on the top. The mop. Look at the mop. It is on the top. So, after we listened and do the circling thing, we can notice this, that we have these words that has the ending op. Now, notice this with me and repeat, okay? Repeat with me. So, here we have up, up, mop, mop. The second word, up, top, top. The third word, up. Hop, hop. So the ending is the same, op, 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 but the first letter is changing every time. So we can, because we have a lot of words in English that have the ending op. So once you 
you uh, can read the op you can just read the first letter at any word all right now let's know the meaning of each word look here at the picture we have mop repeat please repeat with me mop mop look at here this is top 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 Look at the boy. Hop. Hop. So hop means also jump. Okay, jump. But here we have the word hop ending in op. So repeat hop. So by this, you can do the activity by yourselves. All you have to do is to read the word then match each word to its corresponding picture all right so do activity number two it's very easy okay so by this we come to the end of the first lesson and this is the homework for it from the workbook page number 119 all right this page is a homework for the phonics lesson now dear students let's do the second part of our lesson which is entitled as song okay so open page number 121 from the students book All right, and in this lesson, we will be able to talk about places. سوف نتكلم في هذا الدرس سوف نصبح قادرين على أن نتكلم عن الأماكن عن بعض الأماكن. Also, we will be able to talk about one's location. وأيضا سوف نتعلم كيف نتكلم عن مكان وجود شخص ما. أين هو موجود الآن على سبيل المثال. So let's do that and things will become more or clearer. And as usual, let's introduce ourselves to the new words. As you can see here, we have four new words. And by the way, they are all about places. Okay? Because we are going to talk about places and talk about where someone exists. Okay, so these are all places. So let's read them together and repeat. Park. Park. Park Beach 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 Zoo 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 Bookshop 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 All right, dear students, after we did the new words, let's move to the, to the second activity, as you can see here. Okay, look at the pictures. All right. And also look at the title which is the most important thing in this lesson okay where are you where are you في أي مكان أنت أين أنت الآن موجود في أي مكان أنت موجود الآن هذا السؤال نستخدمه أعزائي الطلاب لنسأل 
عن موقع أو مكان وجود إنسان ما أين في أي مكان أنت موجود Where are you? For example, I am at the school أنا في المدرسة أنا موجود في المدرسة So let's listen and learn more about this Two, listen and say, where are you? Where are you, Mark? I am at the park. Where are you? I am at the beach. Where are you? I am at the bookshop. Where are you? I am at the zoo. I am having fun. I am having fun. Where are you, Mark? I am at the park. Where are you? I am at the beach. Where are you? I am at the bookshop. Where are you? I am at the zoo. I am having fun. I am having fun. Where are you, Mark? I am at the park. Where are you? I am at the beach. Where are you? I am at the bookshop. Where are you? I am at the zoo. I am having fun. I am having fun. Okay, after we listened to the text, we can simply use this question to ask someone where he is. Okay, and we can answer it by saying, I am at. I am at, then you say the place that you are in, okay, or you are at, okay, look at this boy, he is at the park, so ask him, where, where are you, so he answers, I am at the park, okay, now, dear students, where are you, where are you, you can say, for example, I am at home. I am at home. أين أنت الآن؟ في أي مكان موجود؟ أنا في المنزل. على سبيل المثال، أنا في البيت. أنا في الحديقة. أنا موجود في المول. All right now. You can practice the question, where are you, with one of your friends or one of your family members, and just do the same as these two girls, okay? It's very easy. Just ask about each other, okay? Ask each other, where are you? I am at the zoo. Where are you? I am at home. Where are you? I am at the school, and so on. And by this, we come to the end of our lesson. And before we go, let's know our homework, which is from the workbook, page number 111. This page, okay? It's very easy activity. You can do it by yourself. So, برعاية الله أعزائي الطلاب السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته